In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix KYC slot not available in Pi Network. Now, there's multiple reasons why this could be happening, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the most common causes and how to fix them. So, number one, you want to make sure that you have at least 30 mining sessions before you even start the KYC application. So, newer accounts or those with inconsistent mining may not be eligible yet. So, yeah, if you do have like a newer account, then this will take a little bit of time, but you do need to actually have at least 30 mining sessions in order to qualify for KYC. However, even if you're eligible and you've done your 30 mining sessions, that doesn't mean that you're automatically going to be able to submit a KYC application because even if you're eligible, KYC slots are released in waves based on network capacity and you might be waiting for an available slot. So yeah, you aren't constantly able to go ahead and you know submit a KYC application. It does come in waves and you have to go ahead and actively check the account every single day to see if the wave is open. Another reason why this could be happening is is that if your account is flagged. So Pi's algorithms may have marked your account for potential policy violations. For example, a suspected fake account, scripting, or multiple accounts blocking KYC access. So again, just make sure you don't do anything like that because that will ruin your chances of being able to submit a KYC application. So yeah, if you wanna check how many mining sessions you have, go to the top left and select on these three bars just like so. Then go ahead and select on mainnet. Then you want to go ahead and press on configure lockup rate and once you're over here you want to go ahead and scroll down and over here it will tell you how many mining sessions you have completed so you have completed one mining session so far so that is not enough we need to have at least 30 in order to actually qualify for kyc and also you want to make sure you do complete the other steps in the mainnet checklist so let's go ahead and open up the mainnet checklist and you basically want to complete all of the other ones before uh step number seven so step number seven is to actually submit your kyc application so that means you need to do all of these things beforehand so that means you need to download the pi browser you need to confirm your pi wallet you need to commit to a lockup configuration stuff like that so you need to do all of these steps beforehand as well and also just make sure that you're using the latest version of the application i know that may sound a little bit like obvious but sometimes Sometimes we kind of forget the obvious stuff so just make sure you do have the most recent version of the pi network application if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial